The edge matching tools in GeoMedia Professional let you add new data to your existing geospatial data sets when they share a common boundary. As you know, the data will not line up exactly. In this demonstration, you will see how we can easily identify the edge pairs and then automatically connect them using the tools in GeoMedia Professional. The focus of our attention today will be the two data sets shown here in blue and red. My objective is to edge match the red linear features to the blue linear features along the county border. As I zoom in, I can see there are gaps. As part of my familiarization with the data set, I will take some measurements to identify the scope of the misalignment. Here it's about 21 and a half meters. I'll take a number of measurements until I'm comfortable that I've identified the widest margin of error. And I can see that I approach 50 meters. Note that the misalignment has been exaggerated for this demo. Once I'm ready, I'll create a spatial filter around my work area. Next is to create the edge match detection rules. I'll select the place to store my rules and identify the connections for the features I'm edge matching. I've already written rules to compare the adjacent county data to the source data. Let's look at them. I have a number of rules with separation values. I could enter orientation values, Z offset, any attribute filters or attribute comparisons needed, and I can set it to auto fix. I can also set resolution rules to vary the weighting I give to each feature. The default value is 50-50. And I can define the distance over which the edge matching adjustment will take place. Once I'm done, I save the rules. I'll start an automated edge match. I'll check to ensure that I have the correct inputs, and I do. Next, I'll select the rules to apply. I'll select the 50 meter rule based on my previous measurements. Notice that I have the ability to modify the parameters defined by the rules. Note that I have an auto fix option here as well. I'll leave it unchecked for this pass so you can see what the results look like. I'll make my output selection and then I'm ready to edge match. When edge match runs, it gives me a statistic summary that lets me evaluate how effective my rules are. Once I dismiss the statistics, the edge matching process will run and feed the results to GeoMedia's Qt Edit functionality for review. I can then navigate through the links using the Qt Edit toolbar to evaluate them. For simple jobs, I could probably skip this step. For more complex situations, this step lets you evaluate how effective the rules are before committing and would be highly recommended. Before I rerun edge matching with AutoFix on, I'll zoom in on one of the edge pairs so we can observe it. Let's run the edge matching process again, but this time we'll turn AutoFix on. As it makes the fixes, you'll see that it has edge matched the two features I'm observing. I once again have my queue, but this time the status is set to resolved and the features have been matched. 
I can navigate through them with the Qt Edit toolbar and view the fixes. I think you would agree that it's done a good job of edge matching the features. When I'm done, I can remove the spatial filter. In this demonstration, I use the default values for edge matching of 50-50. I can adjust those weights as needed or define a boundary line on which I want the edges to meet. I can also perform interactive edge matching for any outliers that the rules don't pick up or if I want precision control over where the edges meet. That concludes the demonstration on edge matching with GMedia Professional. Thanks for your time and have a great day.